The chamber started actually out of the basement of her home. Just a group of Christian business owners that wanted to be in an environment where God was at the center and at the foundation of everything that we do. And now look at what God has done. You know, if you're part of our expo today, you're actually seeing just literally the floor crowded with people who are just excited about the chamber. Maybe uh, you've heard about it and maybe you've uh, had some interest in just being part of this chamber. You can just come and see what they do here. And uh, a guaranteed, this Christian chamber will enhance your life personally and also your business because they're here to serve you. I've spoken at a lot of chamber of commerces where people are only focused on business. And it's just kind of refreshing being a man of faith to come to a chamber of commerce that's not just about business, it's also about friendships, it's about a shared faith, it's about people that believe. We were looking for a place of kind of like-minded business owners, uh, a place where, uh, you know, every day you're surrounded in the corporate world of um, how to get things done, results, orientation, um, and, you know, we, it's nice to have that balance of saying, oh, here's somebody I can share my struggles, my successes, and they understand when I say, man, we're being blessed by God, they understand it, they get that. I had been a part of networking groups in the past, like the LATIP, um, which would be similar to a BNI, and the comparison between that group and this group is, there's no comparison. Just the encouragement you get when you go. Um, at those groups, you'd almost feel beat down. At this group, you kind of feel lifted up, so it's a nice uh, feeling. When God gives a word, He promised me that this year was going to be bigger than last year. The speakers that He sent to us, I did not have to do a whole lot. He made a way. See, God's timing is everything. What we need to understand that we need to stop doing and stop making our own way, and we need to rest. Ed Her, our keynote speaker, a phone call came in. Next thing you know, Ed agreed to speak. Ann Byler, Auntie Ann's pretzels, a phone call came in. We never thought we were going to have her. He's the guy I spoke to, said I wasn't sure we could get her. And I said, you know what? My God will supply every need. He'll take care of everything. Originally, I just got an exhibitor booth, and I was struggling with the fact that they were looking for a platinum sponsor. Um, you know, because of the funds, I said, well, you know, I, I, I really was struggling whether it was God's will for me to do this. And after coming, I think it was the third or the fourth time, the Lord really made it clear that you need to sponsor them. You need to stand behind them as a partner. This is my second expo, and I decided to do it because I believe in what the chamber stood for. I really love Angela and Paul. I put my deposit down last year and uh, because I wanted to be a part of it this year, and so I was, I was just sold on how well everything was, was done. It's a great group of people. It seems like, it seems like it's well run. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever spoke anywhere where they, they didn't have things. I mean, it's very organized, very organized. So, you know, my hat's off to the organization. My hat's off to the membership. Uh, seems like it's reasonable to be a member from a, from a cost standpoint. Seems like it'd be kind of a no-brainer. You get, you get everything and more that you paid for. Being an entrepreneur is a different lifestyle. Being an entrepreneur is, to say, a different walk. It can be a lonely walk. It's different than just being employed by someone else. So you need to be in that environment with like-minded people. The ability to have people that I know that I could go to or turn to and say, hey, I, I need prayer on this subject, or I need to share something, or um, the ability today with um, Ed, her, was the ability to ask a pointed question. As a Christian business, I know one of the things that uh, a lot of us tend to ask is, how is a Christian business you talk. Christian Chamber, I, I joined it uh, shortly after getting into this business, again, a couple years ago. And while I initially thought I would find business at the Christian Chamber, I realized that when I was looking, I wasn't being successful. 
And one of the other members who actually introduced me to the chamber, Jim Palmer, I'll give Jim some credit here, said, you know, when I, when I stopped looking, it's when it found me. And that's exactly my approach now. I participate more to just see, because there's so many independent business people part of the chamber. And I know that we have a lot of knowledge to share. So if I can help educate them, motivate them, inspire them, whatever, that, you know, if it just helps them be more successful, then I know that's God's intent. Imagine if there was a Christian Chamber of Commerce in every community. It'd be powerful. And I think we're so blessed to have people like the Angela who devote, you know, their whole selves to what they're doing. Come on down and see what's here. And I think once you see what's here and you see all the different businesses that are here, lots of people here from Delaware, Pennsylvania, all kinds of places because this is really meeting a need that has not been met before. You'll see the difference immediately. I think a lot of businesses take for granted the Christian Chamber, uh, and I've told them this, uh, because they don't have nothing to compare it to. But if they've never been to part of any chamber, I will probably bring them to a regular chamber and then bring them to see the value of it. But if they, uh, if they really look at the core of what the chamber stands for, I think it would just be an asset. I think it's a necessity for a business to, if you proclaim to be a Christian business, to support such a chamber. You know, it's a fast-paced, busy life. And I, I think that I take a, a great assurance in the fact that I'm working for the Lord. You know, and so if I have a bad day or things don't go my way, it, it's kind of okay. You know, it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it everything I have, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna lay it lay it down in front of God and say, God, I did my best. Now I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I just want to say to the businesses that are out there that there's a positioning that is taking place and it is time if you quote unquote are still in the closet about being a Christian or don't understand the role that business plays with faith it is time for you to start coming out to our chamber events.